Hello and welcome to another edition of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem, a show where we answer your most pressing questions about the most recent episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which was The London Tombs. All the questions we're answering today came from you guys via our BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page and our BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page. Mm -hmm. Also, if you haven't checked out the BuzzFeed Unsolved animated special, that went up this past weekend. Hello, and welcome to the BuzzFeed Unsolved animated holiday special. Very proud of that and all the work that our team did. And by the way, some of you have been asking, and I think it's appropriate that we shout out all the animation team that worked on it. So uh, we have animators, Brent Sievers, Luz Batista, Erica Wester, animation support, Kyra Kopetsky, Jackie Lee, and uh, of course, animation supervisor, Z Myers. Who has made a cameo in BuzzFeed Unsolved yeah. before. Let's show it. Yeah. I'll give you that. That's her head right there. <laughs> I'll give you that. That's Z right there. Frantically thinking about how she's gonna animate the boys, and she obviously figured it out. Uh, we barely did anything. Yeah, we just we, we just, just yucked it up. We just spoke into a little microphone. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know how we do it. On to questions. You're going first, or what? Yeah, sure. Go? We'll start on out over in my favorite place to be, Gramtown. 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 This is from Flavia Bertoletti. <laughs> Hi guys, how how easily it is to turn the motion lights on? <laughs> Could a bug flying by do it? Hashtag Janiac. Uh, it's actually very difficult. To it's turn difficult. Those on. We cut this part out of the episode, but we did things like throw rocks at the motion detector yeah. to try and turn it on, uh, and no dice. It only really turned on when we, uh, a human form, walked by it and got in pretty close proximity to it too, Yeah, about like five feet. I would be interested to know if, a, if like a bug crawled over it, if it would turn on. I don't think so. We've never tested that. Well, we threw a rock over it. I'll get some bugs, man. <laughs> what, are you gonna, are you gonna speak to the bugs? I'm not gonna speak to them, I'll just, I'll get some bugs on Amazon. I know you can buy like a 10,000 ladybugs on there. Yeah. Uh, we'll put that in a room with them. Yeah. See what happens. This is from uh, Caleb uh, Lipiat. Postmortem. Ryan, literally all of the ghost sounds you hear, the wail, the footsteps, etc., are just the trains going by in the underground. The experience is next to an underground station. You're hearing trains going over tracks, the ventilation, and the wind tunnel flow. You need to calm down, man. <laughs> Hashtag Shady. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that some of them could have been the trains, but I don't think all of them were the trains. And the main EVP that we caught, the, em the one I believe to be Emily, was caught when the trains weren't running. Oh God, I heard something. It sounds like a, a female voice. Uh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> It's cool. I'm excited for you. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, I, I, I keep trying to not sound patronizing in these things and it never works. Yeah, I know. I, know I mean, I still don't believe. People are getting mad at me. They're like, eventually you gotta admit. No, I don't have to. <laughs> you're I'm just trying to, You're just gonna explain I'm just it. gonna try to be less of an asshole about it. Next question. Emma Baker. I think the most important question is, is Ryan becoming a Shaniac? He seems to be getting progressively less scared of ghosts and even suggested to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. And Ryan, the hot dogga is still a better love story than Twilight, winky face. Hashtag Shaniacs, hashtag RIP Bugaras. You don't have to attack the Bugaras like that. And also, that is not high praise for the hot dog. Yeah. Twilight sucks. The hot <laughs> dog sucks too. They're, well, they, it sucks less. No, they both suck. Mm, I don't know. They're, they, they're definitely adjacent. Hey. Adjacent territories for sure. They're touching. The borders are touching for sure. Uh, you are getting more cavalier with these, these specters. Yeah, that doesn't mean I'm a Shaniac though, because if I was a Shaniac, I would have to then not believe in any of the things that I'm talking to. The reason why I think Shane could maybe be so brave is because he doesn't believe in these things, therefore he's just talking to dust. So why wouldn't you get a little curt? Yeah, dust? I think it's funny when people call me brave because I am a timid man. <laughs> I just don't think there's anything to be afraid of in these places. But yeah. if there was like, let's say a, a, a giant burly man down there with a knife, yeah. and, uh, Shane would not be like, uh, oh, I fucking come out of here, rip my bones out of my body. I'd poop myself He'd and poop crawl himself. into a closet. He'd roly poly yeah. and, and just roll. I'd into cover the myself in poop so he wouldn't want to. <laughs> You'd uh, predator it. You'd Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. yourself. Yeah. But instead of mud, it would be poop, I guess. This is from Helena Green from Facebook. I saw a lot of people commenting on this, by the way. 
Something followed Ryan for a couple of seconds at 2727 over his left shoulder. Could be the man he was talking to, I don't know. It wasn't, it, it isn't wearing glasses and you could see the reflection of the iris. Also it's smiling maniacally just before it stops. Did I mean, check it out? I checked it out. Maybe you could look at the clip right there. Roll that clip. I almost fucking kicked you in the nutsack. All right. It's clearly just the, the security guard behind me. Oh, it is? Yeah. I almost fucking kicked you in the nutsack. He probably was smiling because... Yeah, he, he thought it was When he asked me, he's like, should I go check on your little friend? I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> Grand time. This is from Danasaurus. <laughs> dot underscore, you should do the United States of America next season. <laughs> the reason for that is because so much crap happens there that you should think that it was built on an ancient burial ground slash battlefield. Oh wait, it was. I don't think this person has seen many episodes in the show. We're, I think primarily it's about the United States of America. But we can make that happen. We'll make it Let's, be in It's the in the budget. budget. Yeah. You ever hear, want to hear some ghost stories about Burbank? <laughs> <laughs> this is, comes from Giggle Dimps. This Giggle Dimps. Instagram. Yeah. Why did you change batteries in the middle of trying to catch some ghost proof? You would have been able to catch the whole audio of footsteps instead of just the tail end if the batteries weren't being changed. LOL. While changing our batteries on our equipment, we heard loud footsteps down the hall. Record. We quickly turned everything on, but only caught the tail end of the noises. They the run, thing with they batteries run, They is, run out of charge every now and then. That's why they're called batteries. That's not, I don't think, why are they called that? I don't know. That's not, that doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. So, you know what though? She did fucking own you. Did she? Yeah. I don't think LOL, she did. with that big LOL. I don't think, I don't think she did own me. I think, uh. LOL, put a little dumb Bugara face in the middle nah. of it. He got owned! Oh my God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, one last order in business. People said we should name the horse Holly after the famous crime writer Holly Horsley. Yeah. Yeah. Should we call it by the full name though? Holly Detective Horsley? Detective Horsley? Detective Holly Horsley? Yeah. Then we could throw back to it like a Mr. Rogers. Yeah, eventually we'll make him him or her. Her? Her? It's, well, it's Holly Horsley. Eventually we'll make her talk, I, I imagine. Maybe next season. Ryan, what's coming up? True Crime's coming down the turnpike. We're so. really good at plugging our show. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. It's coming soon. We got some good cases and uh, we're doing some things with the true crime season that we only dabbled in before. Mm -hmm. Also, there is another unsolved franchise, Unsolved Sports Conspiracies. Of course, Shane is not in it by his own volition. I really don't care about sports. I tried. I tried. That does it for this episode of BuzzFeed and Solved Postmortem. See you guys next time for Unsolved True Crime. Watch the animated show, watch the sports show, and that's it. Let's See you guys cap later. it all off with the grand finale of the hot dog. Everybody loves this. Our weekly- Is this gonna be it? Is this, are you tying this bad boy off? Our weekly Q&A concluded. I now welcome you to the part of the show we call the hot dog, a hot dog saga commissioned by Ryan Bergar, written by me and adored by every single viewer. Last time. At least you have the decency to talk fast when you get through this quicker. We learned that Pam and the ghost of Brandon, acting under their evil master's orders, lured Gene and the entire hot dog family <clears throat> to this volcano, acting on some kind of prophecy. How did they orchestrate this? Isn't Gene from the future? All of these questions will be answered. To die! Now hang on a second. What? What gives you the right to interrupt this perfectly delicious wedding? It's all fake, Dan. Delicious wedding. A ploy. Genes from the future, remember? These are all witch holograms oh of God. fake memories meant to lure you all to this Hawaiian volcano so we could kick you into the lava and kill you forever, as the prophecy dictates. You're telling me that the risky fixings aren't real? No, they're witch holograms. And what about Jebra and Maisie? Jebra's not even a real name. Witch holograms. And all the wedding guests? Witch holograms again, except for Mike Soup. What a beautiful day. This whole wedding venue is a hologram. It's actually a witch cave above a volcano. And now I'm gonna pull this lever and, hold on one goddamn minute. Maisie? That's right. I may be corn and I may be a witch hologram, but I was conjured to love Jebra. 
And she's as real to me as anything I've ever known. And you gotta be stupid to think that I'm going to let the simple fact that we're both holograms created by some annoying hot dog witch and her raccoon pal get in the way of our day. The raccoon is actually the ghost of my younger self. I ate him and now he's mad. I don't care, Brandon. Witch lady, Pam, whatever your deal is, will you press pause on your shit for five minutes? Uh, I, f fine. Good, sausage priest, you're real, marry us. By the power zested in me, I now pronounce you fries and corn. Applause. Beautiful. Was that it? No. Fuck. I'm still gonna kill everyone. I don't give a shit, Pam. This is our day. Risky fixins. I know you're mostly holograms, but surely you've been practicing. Play our song. Oh, you got it, ladies. One, two, three, four. I have this recorded, so we're just gonna wait one minute and 20 seconds for this song to play. We won't hear it here, but um, let me start the stopwatch here. Wait, what? The song's playing. I have to now imagine a thing I don't want to imagine under any circumstance. <laughs> No witch can say. No witch can say. Which way is the oh, right is way? I feel like this is worse somehow. You just gotta trust what you feel in your heart. Feel in your heart. I don't think I've hated no you more than I'm doing this. Oh, okay. How things ever come to be. Like how the hot dog became high art. An evil hot dog witch is trying. Tear us apart. You proud of yourself right now? Is that what's happening? You, you proud of this moment? As long as you've got you your friends, you this There's nothing you, you cannot do. Come witches or raccoons. No, sir, they cannot get to you. It helps. Is it really a minute and 20 seconds? Rich, compelling, adored worldwide. But it's hard to relish life Without your best friends by your side Oh, thank you very much! Is that it though? Just... Everybody applause Pam. Pam, it looks like something's changed with Pam. This performance has made my heart grow three sizes. Oh, really? It's a Christmas miracle. Yes, but no matter the size, it's still a witch heart, dingbats. Baby Brandon, pull the lever. She pulls, he pulls the lever. Everybody falls, and now I'm going to scream for all the characters, mm. which we can all overlay together. Yeah. Ah! Now that's what I call a cliffhanger. An evil hot dog witch is trying to tear us apart. Hey Ryan, I like your shirt. Thanks, I like yours too. Thanks, buy it here. <laughs>